Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 3 as Germany, episode number 11, if I haven't lost count. It's been a whew, many days since I last recorded this, and a full bout of COVID for me. That's right. I didn't really announce it or anything, but um, I was out for a while. But um, I'm, I'm on the edge of recovery. I feel like I'm almost back. Lucky me, right? Anyways, not lucky for us Germany-wise. Boy, we are getting slammed. Um, I think this does make for an interesting little start to the series, though. Um, I'm not despairing. I mean, it's always better. This game, I, I play these in like 45-minute episodes. Probably the way I should play this is like in 15-minute episodes, because it's so healthy to just go out, live life, you know, just realize this is a video game, come back and have fun. <laughs> but I feel a lot of pressure as a, as a content creator on this. Uh, I know that there's a lot of... Um, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, it's stupid, but it still exists, this kind of like um, pressure to perform, which I certainly don't have when I'm playing just for myself. This, anyway, let's let's get off this analogy immediately. Um, how are we gonna deal with this? I think we just need to end the war and take our licking as quickly as possible. We, um, in no way have we actually, from a naval perspective, lost this this war. We've lost it purely from the point of declining battles that we didn't actually want to decline, but naval battles were... It, game mechanics, I would say. We've lost it from game mechanics. Um, a lot of stuff is being abstracted here, you know, just we have to deal with that, like the blockade mechanic and all that. And hey, in some degree, it should be working in our favor, but we, for some reason, I don't think are getting um, the points for blockading Russia. We're at 3,700. Let's go ahead and end the turn and see what happens. Okay, enemy calls to raid. This is actually a good fight for us to accept, especially because this looks great. We'll accept 89, 37. So it didn't happen. Okay, great. The exact, why? What the heck is going on with the French? We're clawing our way back. Okay, so 3,700. This should put us at 4,600. Pretty much exactly no 4650 and what will they be at well let's accept this one again at france again action with life forces go ahead dang it they accepted i mean hey this is probably the best thing for us to get, get in a battle against the french i wouldn't mind a battle against the uh the russians but we'll take this one as well all right now, unfortunately, I have to remember aha, to put on captain's mode. Would it matter here? Yeah, probably. Because um, I, I keep trying to do this tutorial for part two in my tutorial series, which, by the way, <laughs> eventually it'll get done too. It's um, COVID really put a dampener on a couple of, you know, potential series and all that that I was all getting excited to start. Nonetheless, let's, uh, let's make sure I don't have anything else on the wrong settings here. Should be all fine now. Let's say that this is all good enough. Without, I, I just don't want to check through everything here, so I'm just gonna assume it's fine. All right, um, this is a uh, an engagement in the middle of the night, which we can probably just check by looking at the local time. Twenty-two forty-one. Middle of the night for sure. Um, but it was also easy and kind of fun to look, to do that just by zooming out. Shows how far north we are. And look at that. We have our destroyers going the exact wrong way that we want them to be going for what's gonna, uh, what's about to happen. But that's okay. Squad max, all hands, all ships, all everybody. This is the correct direction. Let's just get a broad... Oh, okay. So let's... What are we going to do about this? Okay, I want to probably do something like this and then that. Ooh, interesting. Destroyer. That's a destroyer. So we're going to go for the light cruiser. Okay, I think we're positioning ourselves well so far. I'm intentionally trying to move at right angles to the light. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Because I'm hoping that we don't take a torpedo from them. 
Okay, that's fine. But you, surely you. Aha. Uh -huh. And surely you. Yes. One of those two, maybe? Now, which way is she going to juke? I think we'll just assume she jukes north. She didn't. But because she juked it all, we're going to have to do this special. And I, I did everything right, and then I had cancel, which is not everything right. Everything right, except for the thing which mattered most. Okay, yeah, we want to pursue. Okay, that's the, what I wanted. We're getting there. Alright, all, in all of this, at least, the Niobe's doing something. This is bad, bad positioning for us. Okay, well, we're going to swing on in there. We're kind of stuck this way now, by the way. Okay, the land is starting to land, unfortunately, the big hits. We just need a squeezer. Okay, we're squeezing. That's squeezing. That's, that's a lot of squeezing. It is V1 that I need here, too. Because I'm pretty sure that we should just see a whole lot of friendly... What? Yeah, we are a little bit beat. We're not behind, but we're not ahead of her enough. Let's just check. Friendly. Yeah, okay. Th that all makes sense. I think that that makes sense. We're about to lose a destroyer, and we don't need to. So, aha! This is perfect. Now, what I want to do is prepare ourselves for the inevitable... Uh, it's like an, a spring. Oscillating back and forth. We expect the Lalonde to bounce off the Niobe and move back south. We we'll just need to be ready for her when she does that. There it is. Right on cue. Now she probably launched, so we gotta do a little maneuver ourselves. D1, that might be the position we need you in. Not quite, but we're on the right trajectory. And if nothing else, I'm so sorry. Let's move this. I need a reminder. But the game, the game provides none. Obviously, it's it's oblivious to the fact that it, you know, <laughs> that I'm actually trying to record in a very specific part of my own monitor. Um, okay, so we just keep squeezing the lawn. And there it is! I still don't know whether or not this is going to be a bounce back or not. But we'll assume that it is. It looks like it will be. And we'll just go with that, and we'll just move a little bit more into position. Oh, oh, it was not. It was definitely not a bounce back. Okay. Well, that is going to change everything as far as whether or not we need to proceed with this turn together business. We do not. All right. So reassemble. Let's go back down to maybe 20 here. Is our speed limited at all? Just right click. Speed is not limited. This has three submerged. What the? It has a forward? I forgot about this guy. Okay, that is something. Well, we might be able to swing a torpedo hit here after all. But how to do that? Hmm. It's going to involve the destroyers. That I'm no. Those destroyers peeling off is actually probably good for us. Okay, let's do this. That's going to shove her west. Then we turn in. No solution. No brother. Tell me one of you guys has got a solution then, please. They do. Well, look, we're only going to be here once. The second time we're being in this position, I'm saying that, of course. <laughs> we're only going to be in this position we've already been in a second time now. We're only going to be in it once. But I do want to influence them to shift that way. We got it! Yes! 
We'll take anything we can get right now. Oh my gosh, they're dead in the water. And that gives us another opportunity, by the way. We'll take all of our thing in our starboard. No, this is our port. It's expended. Yeah, darn it. Well, we'll go ahead and waggle our finger at her. We are not going to presume that she's dead. We will turn around and we will give her another one. That is the way we've learned to behave. We will not squander those lessons. We will learn from the past. Why did I just accept that torpedo which is going to miss? It's not a moving target. Should not be that. Uh, it got him. Okay. That is going to... Look at if two port, If two torpedoes are not enough to sink a ship in 1897... 1897. If two torpedoes is not enough to sink a light cruiser, a protected cruiser, then I, I'm just... I throw my hands up and I quit. 60% damage. Um, yeah, your damage is very bad after taking one hit. <laughs> That's just the way it works. One hit, you're almost dead. <laughs> Let's just detach this one in particular. We can probably just let that one go on her own. She's not actually flooding. She just has superstructure damage. And you guys can go down to cruise, I guess. I don't know if we want to go down to cruise. Maybe 16. And we might play with fire here and go after the destroyers. So I'm actually going to let you guys go to AI control so I don't have to bother with you for a while. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh my goodness. What the heck do we got here? They must have come in from this angle, right? I mean, funny thing is about a real time, I mean, a turn based game like this and all that. And anyway, I mean, basically, we don't know which direction they're coming from, even though you would definitely know which direction you see a ship come from, right? Unless they're dead stopped. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm, these must be the destroyers, though. Yeah, three of them. Okay, so that is, that's who we think it is. And we just want to get out of sight of this ship, though. Our destroyers are having a hard time following us. I think I will go west and then south. They're still doing a port raid. I, you know, I need that lest I forget. Oh my goodness. There are, there are definitely more ships here than I thought. Um, what the heck is going on? We don't have identification. Fire anyway. <laughs> yes, Captain. Just fire everything. Oh my goodness. We might have just done it. For the, please, for the dramatic misses. Ah! <laughs> but wait a second, Captain. We still have the forward launcher on the Niobe. Do we? Is that Has it reloaded? <sighs> okay. That's the dramatic moment we fired. Also, okay, um, we actually need to move because we are going faster than the torpedo, which we fired in front of us. <laughs> it seems like a very bad idea. <laughs> oh, gosh. What have we done? <laughs> Do we have a port side? I think we already used our port side. We reloaded it. You have three reloads for your submerged mounts. I mean, might as well, right? Oh, this is a destroyer. And it's definitely not going to take a torpedo. Those are very hard to hit. Kind of fun to play in slow mode, but, you know, let's, let's be a little bit more realistic here. Squad max. 
Up we go. So there must be just a, a whole ton of these French destroyers all about. Um, you, let's get you to return to port. And you know what? What's your squad max? Yeah, you can still do that. Well, let's make it 18 just to try to get you out of harm's way a little bit faster. Man, it is just a swarm of ships here, though. Alright, but I know how to play the anti-torpedo game. You can't get me there. A CA. I suspect that that is not a, an accurate report. <laughs> it says it's a CA firing medium guns at us. I just don't think that can be true. I refuse to believe it. This is just a, a madness battle. And they turned around already, too. Well, it's definitely not. Well, no, I guess we turned around. And then we saw it, it pretended to be a light cruiser, or protective cruiser. Uh, what, are we, what is actually going on here? We have this thing's obviously on fire, so we see it off in the distance. I want to stay out, by the way. I do want to stay out. In fact, I'm going to go down to 14. And I don't want to burn these guys out either, so let's just bring them down to 16. Because we want to stay out all night. I don't want to give up and let these guys, you know, basically just freely harvest from my transports after I leave. Since these guys don't have damage, they are staying in the fight. Now, I wish the AI control would work here. Let's see, maybe it will. Come on, please work. Please. I uh, guess the answer to that is no. I just want them to stay with the protected cruiser. Like, aren't you, isn't it support? I don't, can I make you core to them? It's a little bit weird, but Okay, are they following now? Okay, that's that's perfectly fine with me. I would rather you actually just escorted like normal, but... <coughs> uh, excuse me. But this will work. This will work, I suppose. Okay, the rain has stopped. That guy... Oh, there we go. See someone. Right away. Just... Just following lines here. Oh my gosh, they're back already. It's now a Corvette. Never know what it's gonna be. It truly is the mystery craft. Anyway, we're just gonna keep, um, I guess, jousting with these guys. See that they're turning. It might be good if my destroyers did. Oh yeah, not. Don't need that. Raining again, I think. Yeah, light rain. You can control the settings, by the way. What color you want, whatever to be. So if my destroyers are out in front, in theory, that'll give me more advanced notice when I'm about to be confronted by a bunch of destroyers. At least they're coming head on, which is, I think, the most. Oh, yeah, see, I like this. We're spinning north. Okay, they're coming back this way. Just get a few shots off. Maybe we can land a hit. One hit could be fatal. This is interesting. I'm going to let this play out. Very strange. It's strange that it just doesn't make a difference what I'm doing here. What the heck? There are a lot of enemy destroyers out there. Let's thread the needle. Oh my gosh, the other ones. I can't hide my destroyers. They just they come no matter what. 
Oh, my goodness. This is going to be exhausting if I have to do this for 250 more minutes. At least we don't have to worry too much about torpedoes. And I, okay, obviously knock on wood, but despite the low visibility, torpedo range is even worse. This is the only part of the game, the only time where this is actually true. <laughs> okay, that's what I expected, but that's okay. Let's get this guy across. Maybe we can land some hits. They landed the hits. That's not as good. I mean, who is this CL that we're hitting? Oh well, we, we hit with a three-inch gun. And those are quality one, right? So those have better penetration data, which matters not at all against destroyers. Ah, they've caught me in the usual pickle. One three-inch gun, two, and they have two above water. Okay, well we're gonna have to make some maneuvers here. Very gracefully executed, but... Oh, we actually just fired a torpedo. That's funny. So what, is this the Russians as well? Like, who all is here? Let's fight the, the, the British destroyers. I, I dislike the British. After their little diplomatic shenanigans. As always, okay, we hit the Gala with our two-inch guns. Come on. Man. It's like a musket ball. That's a little bit better, but also very dangerous. I don't know. Okay, wow, that was, that was terrifying. <laughs> For reasons I- OH NO! HOW DID IT HAPPEN? HOW DID IT HAPPEN? NO! I'm gonna need to go back on camera and see that one again. How did I get hit the second minute afterwards? It seems impossible. Did they predict I was turning 90 degrees to the right and doing exactly what I did? I am going to have to look, I'm really going to have to look at that one again. You know, we are doing very well, and that obviously means that we're doing a little bit less well. What the good God is going on here? Just sue it. What the heck is going? Alright, we got... We got one survivor so far. I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and say that that's good enough and get out of here. Good old V3, seeing what happens. <laughs> you stick around too long. I will maybe just go down to cruise though. No, we're being pursued, so I'll go to squad max. Make some desperate maneuvers. They'll never catch me. Okay, let's go off in this direction and go to cruise. I want them to pursue me at whatever speed they're going to waste. And then I can still come back in and taunt them. Okay, this is considered a victory for Germany because we have surviving bonus... I mean, surviving merchants. I'm really interested in seeing how that's possible for that torpedo to hit. I was expecting it. If I had gotten hit on the first minute afterwards, I would have been like, that makes sense. We were about 200 feet away from each other. Exactly parallel. How it happens when I'm... I just don't know how. Because we're lucky, I mean, whatever, lucky, I don't know. It, but the facts are that torpedoes in this era are not going to be launched from anything you don't see. Because the range isn't good enough. So it's we know we will have seen all the ships that could have launched the torpedo. I'm I'm pre playing into my head though, and and yeah, I mean, I've been wrong. I'm, my memory and all that, you know, is 
Could be wrong, but doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem possible. Still, we'll take it. It's a, a net gain, a huge net gain, if we consider the fact that we also got... Okay, so it was 36, and they were at 80? Were they were they at 89.99, basically? 295 plus 80, whatever, whatever. I mean, minus, so 295 minus this number gets them to 89-something. Was that what they were at before? I think that's right. Okay, um, so let's just see, 51, 92. Okay, is it true? What? And then we get two blockades? So this is a, a net win for us. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. No, the enemy VP just went up by a ton. They were at 89 and they barely got to 9,000, right? Nine, and now they're at 10,000. Where is their 1,000 mystery? Okay, look at this. I, I just, you know, I couldn't really figure out what was going on in this. And now I'm having big, big, big questions. I will have to slow this all way down on replay. I mean, just go to one point, it's a turn-based game, right? So you just go to one point of information being displayed on the screen to the next, not like the frame-by-frame -frame analysis matters. It's not a real-time game like that, but but I have a lot of questions. How is this number, what is going on here? Because I thought that we would be gaining, and I don't feel like we're gaining on them. We should be gaining like 900 in victory points or so. I mean, let's bring up the calculator. I have a fancy button right here. So we were at what, like 3,600 or so? And so we got 5,500, yeah. I mean, this is gonna probably reveal that we had a good turn. So, yeah, so we got 1,900. Still, they were at like 8,900? Where did their 1,100 points come from? I can account for my 1,900. We got 600 basically from the battle, 500, okay, I'll, this is not going to work out quite, quite right, but we got like 500 for the battle, 500 from blockading them, that's 1,000, and then 900 from them declining a battle. There you go, 1,900. Where does 1,100 come from? They got 250 from the battle and 250 for blockading us. That's half of this. Why is it being doubled? I don't know. But I do want to know. I do want to know. Unrest is still not looking good. All right, well, this is how we have to keep playing it. Here we go. Please decline. Ah, okay, here we go. Okay, so I remember I fixed this first. Into battle we go once again, boys. I'm face palming right now. They brought in my Corvettes. The ones with armor, at least. <laughs> Not really expecting these guys to be in the fight. Okay. And I love the fact that... <laughs> I love the fact that when you set... Initial AI control subordinate divisions. Um, Corvettes don't count <laughs> as destroyers. They count as superior to destroyers in the in the in the list. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay, we have control. Control of the board is yours. Let's just get up to a, a reasonable clip here. Hmm. Corvettes are really far away from anything at home. They do have two three inch guns though. They are better than destroyers. Okay, so they're our fallback point. Let's see what we're up against here. It's probably a scouting force. Let the Corvettes keep going. 
Good thing those destroyers pay attention to the signals we're given. Okay, that's what I thought. It's probably the light cruiser then. But it's moving too quick. Oh, it's Russian. Oh, okay, okay. So how to play this now? We're it's three on three, but it's two and one on three. Sorry, just had a coffin attack. We're back now. Um, unfortunately, corvettes and destroyers both, especially corvettes, not as helpful against light cruisers. But if we can isolate, again, I don't know where those missing points are coming from. And I, I want to say also that I don't know if it's a... I, I'm, I'm not saying it's a game bug. It just seems that way because the numbers aren't adding up. But once I know why they're happening, actually, I'll be like, I'm fine to, to be losing the points for, you know, a reasonable reason. Just a reason. That's what a reason is. It's reasonable. <laughs> I guess not every reason has to be reasonable. Um, this is fine, actually. Separating them, no matter what the method is. I'd rather pursue the Russians, but... It's like World War I already, all over again. Which way do you go? He's turning around as well. I did see that. Alright, we kind of want to be on the... We, we want to be on the east, where we were from the very beginning, but... Didn't pay enough attention to that. We will be on the east if we take on the Russians, though. So we can always just say, you know what, to hell with this and go after the other one. Okay, I think we're going to try to do that because I don't like our positioning here. Ah, I had to cough again. So let's, re let's just reset the engagement. This one's going away. All right, so the goal right now then is just to play with this notion that we just pretend like we're either going after them or not. Maybe wear out some engines. It's worked out well once in the past. All right, now we can I think go ahead and commit on this angle. Oh yes. Oh yes, my lovelies, come. Wow. I was really hoping we would get some hits in there, crossing their T, which was, you know, if anything, really important during the Age of Sail, but still I think can be effective at short ranges. Should be effective at short ranges. Um, not so much right now, did not help us. Obviously. Because we only rake them with two inch guns and they got us with something more, perhaps. Okay, flotation damage, but no flooding. Gonna have to live with it. At least they gave us back the, 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 the east. The French returned to their western ways. Again, we'll just kind of pick at them, make them use up their engines. How are they doing? They do have 22 knot ones, so they, yeah, they're pretty resilient. 10 six inch guns too. Yikes. They might have a slightly outgun. In fact, what the heck are we doing? What, what, are we all like this? Good gracious. What am I doing out here? Why didn't I check this first? These are not my ships. Okay, well now we know we have to deal with things very differently. Who was it that we hit before we hit the Sirkov? Hmm. We are like the Russians out here, honestly. We're way mismatched. And how to deal with this? The answer is, as always, send it in the destroyers. These are invaluable for 
all manner of situations. Including whatever is about to happen here. They. Okay. I think they gotta turn north. Don't they? Are they gonna change direction or are they gonna go straight? They actually did not change direction. That's. Well, that's even worse. Oh, well, that works. That works quite well. That will do it. I'll take it. And anticipating a defensive maneuver on their side to starboard, I will I will follow. Didn't work. And we got hit for our troubles. But all this is doing something. You know what exactly? Uh, it's hopefully buying our other ships some time. These being 300 ton destroyers and those being 4,000 ton cruisers. We've uh, hopefully scared the lawn into seeing the error of her ways. Because we cannot compete with either of these guys. They are both much more threatening than I am. If I had no if I had just looked at the darn ships I had, oh my goodness, they have cruisers. Oh, we are in real trouble. Max minus two. No, we can just go any speed you possibly can. Save everything you can. This is really, really not good. Unless. Unless we could hit them. Oh my goodness, though. But if we could hit them, it would all be worth it. Alright, well, we're going to close the range where hopefully the guns are just going to hit and do damage. No matter what kind of gun it is. <laughs> Bigger guns are always going to do more damage, but... Shell burst by coal bunker, thank god. I'm trying to run away from that. I don't want any part of that anymore, no thank you. Alright, well at least we're landing something. You can get lucky with a 4 inch hit. 4 inches, that's not a, I mean it's... I don't know if we're supposed to be able to penetrate 2 inches of armor. Yeah, technically at 2,000 range, which is not much, but... <laughs> Are we at 2,000 yards? I guess that that's very, very close. So we need to be very close to guarantee penetrating. We are not going to try to be that crazy. Alright, we have a plan, though. We do have a plan. That plan is, if we can sink a Russian armored cruiser, we will do it unlikely that we will be able to. Probably what we're going to do is use the Corvettes as bait and then spring the destroyers on top of the armored cruisers. Uh, I mean, this just doesn't seem like it's going to end well ever in any scenario that I construct in my head. I mean, this game is, it's a simulation, and, and when I simulate in my head how things might go in the simulation, it's not looking good. This is not a very good, this is a bad battle for us. And that happens. We can't complain about that. You can't complain about the battle generator for that. You just have better, you know, you just make better ships and then you won't have this problem, right? Unfortunately, I didn't have that option. These are not my ships. I think we're going to have to take her off. She's going to essentially become part of the Corvette line now. What? 
is going on? wasn't sure what was going on there. It's still not exactly sure, but... I'm ha oh, man. No, 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 no. How are you? Okay. You're okay. When did you... Oh, that was what you I fired. Whoops. Shouldn't have fired. Should never fire the center, but I did. Uh, there's just like one scenario where that's bad. If I wanted to fire both center and port or starboard to one side, obviously port or starboard. I mean, just why use the either side option when you could just use the single side option? Just surprised that our Corvettes are not getting it done here. Well, I mean, I'm not too surprised about that. Medusa had a penetrant belt hit. Dang it. Engine room. Dang it. 16. Dang it. Nothing good about that. Alright, well, we need to be beelining towards whatever we can. What do you got? Okay, it's good to know that this battery has its speed limited to only 28 knots because of the weather. I was worried about it. I was like, I wonder if that guy's going to be speed limited, that land target over there. Turns out he is. Always happening. Directly south. Well, you know what? We just got to keep going the way we're going. If we get over to the coast, we might get lucky with one of these mines, but we've already seen like an entire task force go through one without anything happening. And that's just in World of Waves 3. I've seen it happen a million times in World of Waves 2. I've only ever seen uh, a mine, maybe twice. I wanted. I was going to say once, but I'm actually not sure. It might have been twice. Man, nah, it's not. we're not doing great here. Losing a turret. I think we might want to like wiggle waggle to throw them off a little bit. These guys should not be going whatever speed they're going to try to go. Yeah, we might be able to save everyone here. miss on the Corvettes, but the Corvettes, that's the expendable party. Actually worth more points than the destroyers, but the destroyers are, you know, like the uh, like the bishop in chess or whatever. Just the mobility of them so valuable. That looks like attached and then re-detached. I don't know. No, no, no. Actually, okay, actually... Oh, thank God it's nighttime. Well, that was perfect. Very convenient. We landed a few hits, too. So there is... Oh, man, I was just about to say, there's something to be said about if you don't move, you don't change your course, you're supposed to be more accurate. Just as I said that, they happened to land the hits, and I didn't. That kind of stops that theory a little bit. How we doing? Yes. Oh man, another hit. Medusa's not doing well. Oh boy. Can we get her home still? No, I probably don't think so. That might be the end of it. Alright, keep up with the 17 even though Lizalette there is probably down. Yeah, we need you guys. Sorry, we need you. Very important. Medusa's machinery is repaired. That's good. We're gonna shift this way. 
Oh man, it's the convergence of everything crappy. Don't fire your missiles either. But for now, at least don't fire your torpedoes. I want to be the one to tell you what to do. Okay, Medusa, I missed this one. This probably should have been last turn. Yeah, it should have been this one. Last turn. I think we would have had it last turn. That just might be able to get it still. Oh, yes. Okay, that's the starboard side. And then we'll, we'll don't waggle and bring in these guys. Wow, just new, just new. So good at detecting us. Look, you gotta put everything you can. Oh, we actually, I mean, Medusa's still putting some kind of fight up. Hopefully spraying down the gunners. Engine room hit, not ideal. All right, let's see if we got it. Oh, it's so close. We're doing what we need to do, though, I think. Unfortunately, we're spending torpedoes on the wrong targets, but this is all an effort now to save, save my ships. All right, pull away. And you're needed up there now. Man. Sometimes when you try to save everyone, you save no one. But it's too tempting to not attempt. We got such a long ways to go. We need nightfall. Okay, wait for nightfall. Wait for nightfall. Give up the Corvette. I think it's the goner. Save your engines. Oh, I was like, where's my other one? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Lesson is getting lit up now, too. Ugh. Okay, okay. Alright, well, we're still putting some damage in. With two and three inch guns, which is not great. Now, they don't know she's sinking, so we're gonna... Hope that they continue up. All right, they know. <laughs> they they know she sunk now. <laughs> oh, what the heck, man! What the heck? We're not having very good luck in this game. Ah, <sighs> that's okay. I'm gonna have to bring this close to a close here. We're gonna finish these battles. This is why, uh, you know, at some point you need auto resolve. These battles just get too tedious to keep running. And not the way they done it, because when they do it, we're going to lose these so ridiculously. Putting this under AI control, I can only imagine. Anywho, until the next episode, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.